for a walk this morning? Do you need a ride somewhere? You broke down? Oh, I appreciate that. Am I required to answer your question? For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. All right, so I just had a pleasant experience with Woodstock Police. Uh, I guess the Woodstock Police Department, I don't know. Uh, I, I couldn't read the vehicle very well. It was so dark. But anyway, police located in Woodstock, New Hampshire. Uh, I was out taking a walk at about 4 a.m. and 4 degrees uh, on March 24th, 2015, just about 30 minutes ago as I'm recording this. One of the things I like about visiting Woodstock, I don't know if I'll actually end up completely living here, but one of the things I like about it is how few people there are, uh, and I end up walking under stars with almost no light pollution. Of course, when I, I've always assumed that you know, when people see a person out walking in the dark, uh, you know, early morning, late at night, sooner or later going to get pulled over by the police. Now, Michelle Obama says we're supposed to exercise, so I'm just obeying the orders of the government, right? Because I figure that if any government ever gave me grief for being out there doing that, I would remind them that the government has ordered me to do so, and I'm just following their orders. But who is that Russian dissident Bukovsky? I think his first name was Vladimir, but I'm not sure. Anyway, Bukovsky is always saying... Uh, you know, that usually the thing that happens to you, the thing the government does to you, is not as bad as what you're expecting. And so every time I'm out walking and, you know, late at night, uh, I'll tend to rehearse in my head, what am, what am I going to say if a cop pulls me over? Every time a car comes goes by, I'm thinking that. And I'm, you know, uh, my hand is in my pocket, usually on, on my uh, camera or audio recorder, uh, before the car has even passed. And that's another great thing about Woodstock, is there's so few cars that whenever, I mean, it's rare for one to drive past you. But anyway, we're talking Woodstock, New Hampshire, for the uninitiated. It's a town, actually, for the very uninitiated. It's located just south of the Notches, basically, uh, about 30 miles north of Plymouth, uh, maybe 50 miles south of Lancaster, where Porcupine Fest is held. But, you know, in addition to thinking, what will I say if a cop pulls me over? I remember going through this idea, and I was thinking, in, in I was thinking how safe I felt. Actually, uh, the area where I was is actually you're not so far out into the into the boonies that no one could hear you if you were to yell for help. Probably someone would. But I was thinking about you know, all these people that move, that think about moving overseas, and how safe they think they'll be from the federal government and places like that. I do not feel that I would feel that safe at all uh, out there. Uh, walking at night in most parts of the world, I felt, you know, there's just not going to be probably that much of a problem if a policeman does dra dra drive by, you know, as long as I don't mishandle myself in some way. Well, anyway, finally one did that day, and um, he drove past me once as I was out walking in one direction, uh, and then about five minutes later as I was on, on my way back, he drove past in the opposite direction, uh, passing me again, and this time he did stop. And this is how it sounded. Oh, another thing that you won't be able to tell from listening to the recording. I didn't. I had my camera battery. My my camera battery was weak, and I knew it was weak, so I didn't even go for my camera. I went just for my audio recorder. And to this officer's credit, I actually didn't have the recorder out of my pocket until he was already stopped. So he could have panicked and thought, "What is that guy pulling out of his pocket?" Uh, anyway, that he didn't. This is where it picks up. Can't hear you. This is an audio recorder. Okay. I'm recording. What's up? Are you out for a walk this morning? Do you need a ride somewhere? You broke down? Oh, I appreciate that. Am I required to answer your questions? Nope, of course not. Okay, thank you. Do you need a ride somewhere at school? Oh, I appreciate that. But that would be answering one of your questions, wouldn't it? <laughs> I beg your pardon? I, I don't understand. Do you want me to just leave you alone? Oh, sure, that would be great. If all police would do that to everyone, that would be a start. Yeah, great okay, thank you so much. Uh, anyway, afterwards, that was it. He drove off. That's why people move to New Hampshire. It's because of officers like this guy, partly. There's more Mayberry here and less Fallujah. If you're his chief and you're watching this, assuming that wasn't the chief, Hats off. More policing like this, please. Nope. Can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. 
They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM Feds don't want you to hear them.